Hello everyone, good to see you here on the Karina Multilingual channel. In today's video, we're speaking about time. Let's learn some useful time expressions that will help your language sound more interesting and colorful. Buckle up and let's begin. The first time expression is like clockwork. If you do something like clockwork, or something it is like clockwork, it's extremely reliable and regular, just like a clock. I have a customer who calls me every morning, just like clockwork. I also have a friend, her name is Marian. Marian, hello, if you're watching this video. And she always arrives like clockwork, always extremely on time. Honestly, I don't know how she manages that. I probably need to ask her. Like clockwork, David. You can also say that something runs like clockwork, which means that it functions extremely well. My new coffee machine is so reliable. I manage it with an app on my phone and it runs like clockwork. The second phrase is on the dot. It's five on the dot. If something is on the dot, it means that it happens exactly at the time, neither one minute earlier nor later. The boss wants to see you in his office at 11 on the dot. In this case, you have to watch the time to be extremely punctual. Neither at 11.01 nor at 10.59, you have to be there at 11 on the dot. You have to knock on his office door at 11 on the dot. So if I invite my super punctual friend Marion to my house, let's say at 7 p.m., she always pulls her car in my yard at 7 on the dot at 7, exactly at 7. I can actually set the clock whenever she comes. By the way, do you have a friend who always comes on the dot? Or maybe you are this kind of a person? Let me know in the comments down below. The next expression is around the clock or round the clock. If you work round the clock, you work day and night. Of course, people say it a lot, even though they don't really work 24 hours a day, they just want to exaggerate or to show that they do work a lot. I actually say this about myself a lot. Here's another example. There is a supermarket in our town that is open round the clock, meaning 24 hours a day, so you can always do the shopping there. The customer service is working on your problem round the clock. So you can say around the clock or around the clock, whatever you prefer. The following time expression is play for time. If you play for time, you want to postpone a situation or a decision because you don't want to deal with it right now at the moment, probably because you have no solution right now or you want to wait for something else to happen, so you play for time. Imagine you submitted your job application a week ago and you've been waiting since then. You say, they promised to call me by the end of the week. No one has called me yet, which makes me think that they are playing for time. Maybe because they want to see some more candidates to play for time. The next expression is widely used, is in the nick of time. If you do something in the nick of time or just in the nick of time, you do it right before it's too late. I sent in my application at 11.59 p.m. on Sunday just in the nick of time. The application process was closed at 12, so I managed to hand in mine at the very last minute, just in the nick of time. An interesting fact about this expression is the word nick is an old fashioned word that we no longer use and it means a critical moment. I remember when I was studying, I used to do lots of things in the nick of time, writing my reports, doing my homework, um, doing my research. It was really stressful, but it always worked. I don't recommend you to do things in the nick of time. The opposite would be well before the due date, or well before the time, or well before the deadline. I really recommend you to do things well before the deadline and not in the nick of time. 
You caught us just in the nick of time yesterday. The next phrase is up to the minute or minute by minute. When something is up to the minute, it's extremely current. You might have heard this phrase together with the word news. Up to the minute news contains the very latest information or minute by minute news contains the very latest information. Please pay attention to the word news. It's always singular and the following verb must be in its singular form as well. So the news contains and not contain. If you use up to the minute as an adjective, please put hyphens in between. Up to the minute. Social networks deliver up to the minute news from fashion shows and events. I love the next time expression and I say it a lot. It's crunch time. If you say that it's crunch time, it means that it's a point at which something difficult must be done and you're probably time sensitive. Come on guys, our project is due in a day. It's crunch time to finish it. So the project is due and it has to be finished. It's my final examination tomorrow. It's crunch time to study for that. So I have to study now unless it gets too late. The next phrase is knocking off time. You might hear this in the office. It's knocking off time, Mike. Time to call it a day. Let's go on with work tomorrow. So knocking off time is the time when you stop working. You can use this phrase at the end of a working day. By the way, you can also use the verb to knock off and ask someone, for example, what time do you knock off today? What time do you knock off tomorrow? Let's have dinner together. Or I usually knock off earlier on Fridays compared to the rest of the week. Or what time do you usually knock off? Think about your own answer. Here is mine. I usually knock off at eight during the week and a bit earlier on Fridays. Okay guys, we're almost there. Here is the final part of this video. And here I'd like to give you some common sayings that native speakers use a lot. It's only a matter of time. You say this when you think that something will definitely happen, you just don't know when. Like you could say, oh, I'm sure Lisa and Mike will get married. It's only a matter of time before he'll propose or I'm definitely going to be promoted. It's only a matter of time before my boss will recognize it. So it's just a question of time when he will recognize it and when I'll get promoted. It's only a matter of time. Time will tell or only time will tell. You say this when there is some time needed to see the truth or the result of something, when it can't be seen immediately. If you've hired a new employee after having hundreds of candidates for this position, you can say that time will tell whether this was the right decision to appoint this person. If you're going on a diet, you cannot see immediate results, right? You have to wait weeks or maybe months to see the results. And here you can say, I don't know whether this diet works for me. Time will tell all in good time. You say all in good time when you tell someone to be patient because the thing they're eager for will happen when the time is right. I can't wait any longer. I need to know the results of the exam. And your friend will tell you, be patient, you'll get them all in good time. You'll get them all in good time. Imagine you've been learning language for some time already been learning English, but then you watch a film and can understand only half of it. It might be quite frustrating, right? So your teacher might tell you, no worries, keep up with the good work, you'll be able to understand more all in good time. So be patient with yourself, keep studying, and one day you'll see the results. I promise. And you can also watch more videos on my channel. They're also very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done this yet. Let's continue. A stitch in time saves nine. 
this one is probably one of my favorites. It's an old British saying, but it's still commonly used. This saying tells you that it's better to deal with problems immediately rather than to postpone them. Because if you wait for too long, things might get worse. For example, you think, I have to finish this project today, but I can actually do it tomorrow as well. But tomorrow I'll get some other stuff to do. So it's better to put in hours and finish it today because a stitch in time saves nine. Do you know what a stitch is? It's when you do this with a needle. So it's an old expression and it's somehow connected with sewing. You stitch, you make stitches and that's where the expression comes from. A stitch in time saves nine. A stitch in time will save nine, especially with the needle fine. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. Let me know in the comments down below which phrase was new to you and which one you definitely want to remember. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I hope to see you next week in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.